Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crazy Trucking, the video game series where I do crazy things in truck simulators. Today we are playing Euro Truck Simulator 2 and you may remember that in a previous episode I was desperate to get to the island of Corsica racing from Terni to Rome in Italy and now I'm here and I can tell you exactly what I want to do. So this is something I've been planning for a while. Let me show you here on the map exactly where I am and what my plan is. So this is the island of Corsica. I am here at point one, Porto Vecchio, and I'm going to race around the island. So I'm going to go, f I'm not gonna tell you the place names because I can't pronounce them all. But I'm gonna go from point one to two, three, four, five, six, then all the way down to point seven, back to Porto Vecchio. The sat nav says it's going to be uh, eight hours and 13 minutes to travel 495 kilometers. And I want to see if I can absolutely smash that time. So here I am, Porto Vecchio, beautiful sunny day. There's the ferry, still be there when I come back, hopefully. It's 5.49 on Friday morning. And the sat nav says that I'll get back here at two minutes past two on Friday afternoon. So, oh, let's just get nice and comfortable. Just a few settings. Engine on. Lights off. And let's go. So, if you've seen any of the previous crazy trucking videos, you'll know that I drive on the wrong side of the road occasionally, I take roundabouts the wrong way occasionally, I go way in excess of the speed limit, I also occasionally hit other vehicles, not deliberately, but just because I have to. But obviously, I will try my hardest not to deliberately cause damage to my vehicle because if I did, then I wouldn't complete this challenge. And it's at this stage that I must be brutally honest and tell you that this is the 10th attempt I've had at this, at least. So I've had, oh, the first bit of damage, I've had multiple goals with this and I just cannot make it all the way back to my start point without either totaling the truck or tipping over so just to let you know also that I've got truck stability turned right up to its maximum because you'll see it on some of these roads and the speeds that I will be attempting to take them at it wouldn't be physically possible if I had truck stability turned all the way down, which is the way I, I do prefer to play it when playing the game properly. But obviously, this is a proper, this is a proper driving. This is crazy trucking. And obviously, the more damage that you have, the less likely your truck is to perform well. So I really need to keep damage down. Oh, there's. We first speed in the fence. That was a, a very cheap one. I need to get past this car. Oh, keep clipping those little white posts. Terrible. Five percent damage already. That's not so good, is it? So a lot of these roads, it's really difficult to see what's coming because of the camera angle. Now, I could. Ooh, that was a 
nearly went over. I could change the camera to an interior view, but I, to be honest, I do prefer it like this because I'll get a better rounded out view of what is going on. So here's some examples of things that you shouldn't do in real life. That's overtake on a mountain, on a bend, when you can't see what is coming in the other direction. But hey ho, it's crazy trucking. Right, here comes a fine. Police car. Oh my goodness, he did not find me. That is absolutely fantastic. I was expecting a £4,000 fine there. So obviously it's not pedal to the metal the whole way because that wouldn't be in control and that would just result in a little bit of fun but then ultimately a big old smash. So there are times when it is necessary to go slow and careful but then other times when it is just flat out if you can. So let me tell you a little bit about the game. This is Euro Truck Simulator 2. I am currently playing version 1.38. I have all of the current DLC, all the map packs. They're all in the description below so you can see which ones they are. I'm also running Pro Mods version 2.50. I don't think that has an impact on this particular island, but just to let you know that I am running it. Oh, that was close, I nearly went for the overtake there. I'm going for it now, can't see, can't see. There we go. Um, I've also got a couple of um, graphics mods weather and textures and I also use Jazzy Cat trailer mods just to add a bit of variety. <laughs> that nearly got us didn't it? All of the, the mods that I use and the DLC that's in the description you can have a look yourself. If you haven't got this game why not? There's a, a free demo available from SCS. Have a look at it get addicted to it, play the game. Okay, here's another police car. Let's see if he gives me a fine. Yes, £1,207. <gasps> wow. So what I'm going to do when I complete this challenge is I'll work out how much it's cost me. So how much money I started with, how much money I end with, how much income I receive from my other drivers, but I'll offset that against the costs that have been incurred by crashes, fines, truck repairs, fuel. So I started this with a fuel a full tank. So I will refill the tank and see how much that costs. You can see on the map now that it's telling us to turn right. Well, I'm not going to do that because it's actually a more direct route to go straight. <laughs> I'm fighting all over the place here. You may have noticed that I'm using a Logitech Driving Force GT steering wheel. This video is not sponsored by Logitech or anybody for that matter. I'm just telling you what gear I use. So it's a Logitech Driving Force GT. It's a bit clunky and a bit noisy, but it's all I can afford and it's pretty good. It's much better than 
trying to do this game with a keyboard and mouse, which is how I started. But once you start using the wheel, oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, just nip out in front of that van there. So, I feel like I'm doing quite well. I've already shaved nearly an hour off of the time. Remember I said that I would arrive back in the port at two minutes past two. Well now the GPS has changed and says I'll arrive back at eight minutes past one. So, you know, almost an hour shaved off. Damage isn't too ridiculous at the moment. But all it will take is one crash to put me damage up to like 30, 40, 50 percent or all it takes is to take a turn too sharply or even hit a curb. Oh, oh that's a big one. And the truck will flip on the side and it's game over and that's something I really do not want to happen. So let me tell you something about something that we're going to be coming across soon. In this game, as you've already seen at this point, you can take roundabouts the wrong way, you can drive on the wrong side of the road, you can crash into vehicles and just drive off, you can run through red lights. But when it comes to level crossings, if the barrier is down on a level crossing, there is nothing you can do apart from wait until the train is gone and the barrier goes up. You can't drive through the level crossing. You've got to be patient and that's the only thing that can really mess with your time if you're on a on a, uh, a delivery and you're running out of time. If you're doing a crazy trucking video and you want to get back to your starting point as soon as possible and make an epic time out of it but then you get stuck at a level crossing and you just watch your ETA creeping up and up and up. Right here comes a police car, here's a really dodgy junction as well so I'm going to try and... Oh, yeah. oh. So that was a very gentle nudge there, it didn't actually get picked up but I am going to get a fine here because there we go, another £4,000 fine. Wow. So the truck that I'm using is a Volvo. Let me show you it in all its glory. Or maybe not. There it is. It's a six speed, six speed truck. Purely because I didn't want to be going up and down through 12 gears when I'm driving on these mountain roads. So having the six speed is a lot better. I'm playing this on a, a Windows 10 machine. I'm using quite an old CPU. It's an AMD FX4300 running at 3.9 gigahertz. I've just done... Oh, dear me. That wasn't very good, was it? Um, I've just upgraded my graphics card. I was running an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. I've upgraded to a GeForce 1650 Super, I believe it is. Uh, again, I'll put that in the description. Right, there's a level crossing straight through. That's good. I've also just upgraded my monitor. Now, I was running a 24-inch Acer 
full HD monitor, which was, it was great. It was really nice. But, on Prime Day, <gasps> engine malfunction, come on, start up. Turn, turn, turn. On Prime Day, I upgraded to a 32 inch AOC QHD monitor, and it is absolutely epic. I love it. Oh, you hear that? Level crossing, have to wait. right through beat him so you would have just noticed the engine malfunction that's because I've hit a certain point of damage the engine starts to malfunction now technically I should go straight to a garage get it serviced get it repaired and continue on my way I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna keep going until either I get to my destination which is Porto Vecchio or the truck dies or I crash and oh my goodness what a save what a save I actually thought it was all over just as I was saying that but I've managed to well I didn't do anything really did I that was just an absolute fluke wow we are still on route I thought it was all over I thought you were going to see me shed some manly tears then these roads are very very tight very tight look 80 km at the speed limit there's no way you can do 80 long oh i'm doing 90 i'm doing 100 now never mind but you know this is what i mean you think everything's going hunky dory and then suddenly you round a corner and bang hit a truck and tip over think it's game over but by some mighty fluke you're able to continue right we are approaching another level crossing just along here I really hope that I can get through this one oh my goodness just makes it oh look slalom time oh oh my goodness me click the back end there I thought I was gonna spin out okay where am I going big left big left I'm doing 75 and a 30. That is a, a big fine if you get caught doing that. Right. Come on. Not far left now. Satnav says three hours left. Don't forget that Satnav originally said that this was going to take eight hours to complete. It originally said I will be finished at two minutes past two in the afternoon. Now it says I'm going to be finished at 20 past 12. I've nearly shaved two hours off of the time, which is absolutely amazing. But I must, 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 must make sure that I carry on without crashing. Right, this is something you should not do ever. That's a total blind overtake. Okay, if I'm correct, and I'm not always correct, so, you know, I think I'm heading to a town called Bastia. And if it is, then this is the last town. This is the northernmost point of the island. That means that it's just a straight run from Bastia back down to Porto Vecchio. Now, Remember earlier I said that this is my 10th attempt, at least? I have been to Bastia on about four or five of those attempts. So just to get to Bastia isn't an achievement. The achievement would be getting back to Porto Vecchio. Now you know that I said that if I crash you'll see manly tears. I think at this point, if I make it back to Porto Vecchio, you're also going to see 
manly tears. Right, there's another engine malfunction. Here comes another fine as we overtake the police. Oh, you know, sometimes you're just having a good oh, thanks, mate. Sometimes you're just having a really good day. Now, obviously, that car should not have stopped for me. But what would you do if you're driving on the road and a lorry pulls out on you? Do you say, hey, you can't do that and face death? Or do you just say, you know what? I'm going to let you go. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Where are you going? I don't know if I can squeeze past him there. I'm gonna go for it. Oh yes! Squeezed through. Right. Come on. 137 kilometers to travel. Two hours to do it in. And a, oh no 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 no! Come on! My truck is really struggling now. A few more hits, and it's just not going to take any more. So. I need to be a little bit careful. Now I recall that one of my previous videos, I, it was on this bend, I took it too fast and I was on the wrong side of the road and I had a head on collision with a coach and it was game over. So I think that this point now is actually the furthest I've got. Now, if you want, if there's something that you'd like to see, I can make a compilation of all of my failed attempts. Not the whole, the whole journey, just the bit, the relevant bits, you know, where I crash and burn. If that's something that you'd like to see, put it in the comments, and I'll get that sorted. I'll get the video uploaded. Police. Red light. What? What's going on? I'm going too fast. Oh my goodness. Did you see the back end kick out just a little bit there? What happened there? I went past the police car at 150 kilometers an hour on the wrong side of the road and ran a red light and there were zero consequences. I don't understand. I do not understand. Come on, sliding, sliding, and engine cutting out. What a vicious combination. Oh my goodness, this, this is a bit of a slalom, isn't it? Steep turns coming up, place. Oh, I'm actually not speeding. My goodness. First time ever. Oh, look, here's some income from one of my drivers. That might make up for some of the fines that I've received. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I seem to be driving really cautiously now. I'm so desperate to like actually make this. Oh, I'm in Porto Vecchio. I'm in Porto Vecchio. Come on. Come on. It's 11.30. No, it's not 11.30 yet. It's saying that I'm going to get there at 11.30. I've absolutely smashed this just like I said I would. Come on. Only, only 20 kilometers left to go. But that's nothing. That's absolutely nothing. Just a few more corners. 
I need to get to the ferry. I am not finishing this until I get to the ferry. The ferry is where I started. The ferry is where I will finish. The challenge is not complete unless I'm at the ferry, okay? Here we go. One roundabout. Can I make it? Come on, come on, come on. No traffic, no traffic, no traffic. Oh my goodness. Oh, 47% damage. Need to hit a car. Police, fine, thousand pound. Engine malfunction, come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on, this is the last roundabout. Last roundabout. He's through. He's at the marina. Last bend. No, there's the ferry. There's the ferry. He's still there waiting for us. Come on. This is the last one. Go, <laughs> don't crash now. Get through. Yes, he's through. He's absolutely through. He's made it. I can't believe how excited I am. There I am. There I am. Stop the truck. Stop the truck. There I am. Stop the clock. 11.15, I have absolutely made it. I have smashed it. I'm at Porto Vecchio. My poor truck is in absolute ruins. I'm done. I am done. Calm. Time for a review. Okay, so... I've calmed down a bit. I have recovered from my epic journey around Corsica. Now it's time for the analysis. So I've rewatched that video, uh, the whole journey, and I've got a few facts and figures to go through with you. So my start time was 5.51, my ETA was 14.04. That put the, the whole time to complete the journey at roughly 8 hours and 15 minutes. I actually finished back at the port at 11.15, which means that I did it in 5 hours and 5 minutes or so, which means that I shaved off a massive 3 hours and 10 minutes. Absolutely epic. Let's talk about the cost of this amazing Corsica adventure. Surprisingly, I didn't get fined for driving through any red lights, although I did actually drive through a red light and didn't get fined for it. I don't know what that's all about. I had five speeding tickets and they totaled £11,322. I had four collisions with vehicles and that cost me £1,750. That means that my total fines on this epic five hour mad dash was £13,072. Now, after I stopped the video at Porto Vecchio, I went and refueled my truck, my truck, sorry. That took 183 litres of fuel, which cost me £228. And then I went to the service station to fix the truck. It was 47% damaged. And that cost me £33,248. But it's not all bad news. Well, one of my drivers completed a job while I was touring around Corsica and they brought in £6,047, which means that the total cost of this epic journey, because I started with £437,727 and I ended with £397,225, means that I, this whole adventure cost me £40,502. It's not called crazy trucking for nothing. That's a lot of money. Was it worth it? Oh, most definitely. Let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me what you want me to do for another video. I'm fresh out of ideas right now, but I'm keen to do some more crazy stuff. Meantime, I'd better go and do some normal driving, make some normal deliveries so I can bump up my bank account again. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it, and I will see you for another video here on Just Truck Sims.